Hello Stampers, this is Jenny Day, back for another fun video tutorial. And today we're going to do something, I'm highlighting a specific product today I wanted to tell you about. And Stampin' Up! has this Dress Up Framelit set, and it comes with three shapes. It comes with a little cute dress, a little summery dress, and then a little bodice part. So, you can do so much with these, and in this video, I'm going to show you five tips of what you can do with these framelits, and also a few punches that you might have to make really fun cards. I, I watched some tutorials, I talked to other demonstrators and friends, and they all had ideas. So I thought, let's put it together in one video, and I'm, then I played with it myself. So it's kind of like, just a big compilation of, of all these ideas together. So the first tip I'm going to show you is that, that you can make bloomers with your framelits. And I saw that somebody, they, they took and ran this through, you need a big shot, <coughs> but they ran this dress through just some nice DSP paper, it really doesn't matter which one you use. And and I saw that they use floral fl frames and they put a flower around it to cut off for the bloomers but I didn't have that so I have the large scallop one that looks like a big ocean or water and I thought that would have the same effect so I I sat sat it down on my big shot and ran it through and this is what I came up with take this part off after you run it off and you've got instant bloomers that is so adorable so you can either use the floral frames which is a flower or you if you only have the uh, scallop you can also do that and then you can decorate in any way you'd like to so that's the first tip of how to make bloomers <coughs> now the next one is a bathing suit and this one was super cute <coughs> To do the bathing suit, we have <coughs> to cut. I took and ran it through the big shot to make this little yellow dress out of this, the fancy dress one. And you line your dress up at the two inch mark on your cutter. <coughs> and then you'll have this much cut off for your dress. And it looks like my blade's running kind of dull. <coughs> there, there we go. And then, the tip that I thought was really cool was take a post-it note, the sticky part, and then you're going to take, this is my old punch, take a um, small hole punch, and you're going to stick it right on the part of the bathing suit and then you want to be able to do that again so put so put two of them on there my punch is sort of sticking but I think we can make this work and what this is going to do is going to mark a spot see right in the middle you're leaving a little bodice part there so then what you're going to do is you're going to take your punch and you're going to line it up right, right inside. Punch the whole thing out. And then you're going to punch the other one. You're just going to see where you set your post-it notes. And you have an instant swimsuit. How cute is that? I was actually really excited about that. And then little flowers. You can decorate it with anything you'd like to from there. So there's the swimsuit. That's tip number two. Now, tip number three is how to make a pleated skirt. And so again, I use that same dress for, you know, we've got a lot of use out of this one dress for this one. So we use that, we ran it through the big shot. <coughs> so we have one already cut out. Now I'm just going to set and do a second one. Just to show you how simple it is to do that so fast. And then just take it, pop it right out, and you have another dress. Now, 
you need two of these. So you have two dresses, and we're going to cut them right in half and save the upper part. Now for the two skirts, this was really fun. Just take a ruler and you score. Just take your, your stylus and just score down. It looks like they might have did it three times. So one on the side, one in the middle, and one on the side. So you've actually got three score lines. And I'm just going to quickly do that again. And we'll do it again down the center. And we'll do it on the side. So that was simple. Now we're just going to accordion fold them. And that really makes it easy. So there we go. We have a little accordion there. And then we'll do it again. It's only three times. Okay. And then we're just going to take a little glue on this flap. You can use any glue you want. Adhesive, glue dots, and glue them right together. And if there is a, a little inconsistency in the middle here, just trim it right off. And there, we're going to accordion bath on itself. And there we have a pleated skirt. And when you want to glue it down, just put adhesive on this side and on this side. And you can glue it down and have a pleated skirt. And add it to whatever top you'd like. So that's the third tip. Really fun. Now the other one is how much fun you can have with punches. Um, so this is the window punch. And I punched that out. I'm going to show you how simple of a belt that you can just make a belt out of it, wrap it around, and glue it. So there you go. There, from this window punch, is a belt. Then, from the one and three four scallop, inch scallop, uh, you punch it out. I'm going to show you how to make a collar out of this. <coughs> so you punch it out. use my old punch and you just put it right <coughs> take a big bite out of it like a cookie really and there's a use for this too I'll show you so then what you do is you just trim it down it's a wonderful little collar just trim it down have fun with it then this other part you could make a maid's dress out of it or any other decoration from it so it's another piece of skirt you could use and so then the next punch that we could use, and this was kind of fun to discover, the mosaic punch that we have. P do a punch. I'll show you that this makes a very nifty thing. You fold it in half after you punch it, and I even have a decorated one. And it's a purse. Just glue it together. It's a purse. Or you can put, use it for a hat. But how adorable is that? And it actually looks like a Hershey's Kiss, so you could trim off those little pieces too. So there's a purse. Okay, and we also have, this is exciting, this is the, uh, the label bracket punch. It's really pretty, decorative. So punch out of that, fold it in half, and you've got another purse. And don't forget about the artisan label punch. That's a fun one. And you can make a hat out of that one, or a purse. And you're, this is so much fun because you're playing with paper dolls basically and you can accessorize purses and hats all in, in that kind of way. And then the last tip I want to share with you is don't forget about your fabric. So you have scraps of fabric laying around and just put it right on tattoo with your dress and run it through and sometimes I'll tell you the strings get caught but all you got to do is trim that away and you really are left with this cute little dress and it adds so much texture and interest to your cards so we have a lot of things that we can do with our punches and our framelit set now since I'm highlighting this I, I wanted to show you I wrote it down that this dress up framelit set 
is item number 130101, and it's $24.95 for a set of three framelits. And you can go to my website at jannydaystamps.stampinup.net to order these wonderful products and also learn more tips because I'm going to order I'm going to add a new video every week and I look forward to sharing that with you so man get your framelit sets out or order them have fun happy stamping